Hey everybody, how are we doing today? My name is Michael. And I'm Dion. And welcome to Misfits Adventures. Hey, we got some words to talk about. We got some things to tell you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Not good, not bad, but just some changes in our lives. So uh, first off, we are at the uh, Overlook here in Brookings. And that's a beautiful beach right there. And that's a beautiful place. Isn't it gorgeous here? Well, we lost our jobs, and now uh, we're scrambling to find something else. Uh, we had one picked out in California on the coast. Uh, they had an ad, and we talked to somebody, and they said, yeah, they need people, and all of a sudden they didn't need people. Uh, we called another one, and uh, they... The, the wife of the husband who is running the park said, yes, we need people bad, desperately, we're scrambling. I'm like, well, we're here and we can come there in a couple days. And uh, she never called us back, but we put in a, a resume. And then she did call us, well, we called her today. And I guess her husband had knee surgery and some things were going on and they ha had maybe hired a couple, but he wasn't sure if he did or if they're coming or not. And they'll know in a couple days. Meanwhile, we don't have jobs at the campground, and I'm sure they want us to leave sometime soon. Today is Wednesday. Uh, this happened yesterday morning. And, uh, yeah, I don't know why it happened. We kind of do. We just weren't a good fit. We were working too hard, and I think that we were outworking some people, and some people were getting pissed off or something. I don't know what the trip was, but that's their trip, not ours, and we're just going to move on and find something else. So, uh, this will be the last time you get to see this, maybe, since we do not know where we're going at this point. Absolutely gorgeous out here, and this is why we're on the coast. But, uh, like I said, there's uh, nothing we can do about it. Nope. found anything close to here on the coast and we'd have to go inland so if we have to go inland that's not a problem uh, that's that'd be great to stay in Oregon because of my health care and now her health care but if we have to go to California too that's something that we'll have to go to and then we might go all the way down to Southern California and just stay um, with family and just uh, get real jobs and just stop work camping for six months because with COVID and everything that's been happening, this whole this whole job system has really turned upside down for us. So, uh, yeah, we don't know what to do. No, nope. we'll figure it out. We always do. Yeah, we'll always figure it out. Uh, today we went ahead and got the oil changed on the truck. Uh, we filled up with gas. We got our propane filled. We went to uh, Fred Meyer's the store to do all this. Uh, got my prescriptions. What, what little prescriptions I had left. We just got them a couple weeks ago. Uh, and then, uh, so now we're ready set and we're ready to go. So all we gotta do now is we're gonna go back home and we'll pack everything up and get everything kind of squared away. And uh, I'm gonna wait another couple days. I don't wanna leave until Friday. Uh, she has got a credit card coming in the mail. Her credit card got compromised and they were gonna send her a new card. So she had that sent last week. It's been a week and a half now. Haven't gotten that yet. I have some CPAC stuff coming in the mail, um, so we can't leave until that, my medication stuff. So we're stuck there, but I don't know how long they're gonna really give us. I don't wanna wear out our welcome. I don't want them to be all pissy with us, but this is Memorial Day weekend too. Yeah. So we don't know what's going on. Hey everybody, good morning. Good morning, Dion. Good morning. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're in the truck right now, but uh, it's our day off. And it's going to be our day off from now on because we do not have jobs anymore. We kind of, I think it was between management and us deciding this is not working at all for us. And uh, I'm not, yeah. So we decided to, to leave. Uh, we've looked for jobs. We haven't been able to find one. We had a couple good jobs we thought but at this point in time we don't have anything so I need to uh, 
regroup and figure out what we're doing, but we're leaving here. So uh, come on along with us, right? Yeah. Uh, Max is in the Ford, in the Mustang. I'm here and we're gonna take off now and uh, go down the road. Um, I put a new, new little black thing up here so it doesn't reflect. And then the thing that I had up here broke. So we don't have any uh, car cam, which was okay, I guess. I'll just uh, pull up this every once in a while. All right, guys, Dion's gonna get in her car. I got kids playing basketball in the park here. And there's the car. So all right, guys, we're getting out of here. On the road, Dion's ahead of me. And we should be out of here in probably about 35, 40 minutes. And then uh, hopefully, I don't know, we're just going south and we're gonna take the 101 down. We don't have any kind of, we have plans, but uh, I'm not sure what they're gonna bring right now. Uh, we're kind of waiting on somebody to say they want us, but I don't think, uh, I don't think it's, I think they already found somebody. They're just not there yet is what the people were saying. So, all right, man, I'm on an edge of a big bad road. I am going to uh, put the camera down and just start driving. It's uh, 28 miles, 29 miles and uh, I'm almost out of it. I think I have another maybe eight miles to go, five miles to go. Um, the road itself, you can only do it at 25, 30 miles an hour, and that's about what I'm doing it with the camper. The road is very uneven, so the, the camper's just rocking and swaying back and forth, and there's dips and everything else. So I don't want everything to fall apart, so I'm just taking my time. Uh, when we get up to the road up here, the 101, I'm going to turn south, Dion's going to turn north and she's going to go up over the bridge and she's going to get our, if we have any mail, maybe it's there, I doubt it. And then uh, what we'll do is uh, I'm going to go to the big parking lot with Jerry's uh, jet boat and uh, while I'm there, uh, I'm going to go inside and get my jacket and get something to more to eat, some snacks or something. And then, uh, yeah, wait for Dion because she's gonna go get gas. So we got a plan here and we're sticking to it. So uh, when we get to town and, and we get to the big parking lot, I'll see you again. Went and got gas and checked the mail. We don't have any mail. I went inside, used the restroom. Uh, also got everything ready. We're gonna leave now. So here's Dion. So which way are we going? Okay, yeah, so we've been sitting here talking uh, before I came on camera, and I didn't know which way to go. I mean, if we go all the way down the 101, we end up, I mean, after five hours, we'll get to, like, Garberville, and there's nowhere to stay in Garberville. It's not a big enough town. There is not going to be any RV parks accepting anybody on Labor Day weekend, so we're going to be boondocking all the way down. So my idea was to go back up to Medford, um, go down into California, then go back up that gnarly road to get back into Oregon, get to Medford and get the five that way and straight down because otherwise if we go the 101 you got to go all the way down and you got to go all the way to Mendocino and take the 20 across and then go, go through a bunch of different lakes and all that stuff and it's just too much I just want to go up there around the corner and then down and straight down on the five and then that's it gas wise uh, prices of gas right now are six dollars and 24 cents to six dollars and 75 cents uh, Dion just put in Thirty-six dollars. How many gallons? Five and a half. Yeah, five and a half gallons for thirty-six bucks. So uh, it's going to cost us uh, with the truck and the car just to get down there uh, to where we're going in Southern California is going to cost us about six hundred dollars. So uh, yeah, this is why we're kind of thinking about just not doing what we're doing right now and just kind of parking the truck in the camper someplace and getting jobs because this is it's just costing us a fortune in gas just to travel right so i will see you there later and uh bye max or dog did you eat oatmeal this morning yeah. you said you had dad to have my oatmeal this morning all right guys i'm going to get back in the truck and we are going to hit the road uh we should be three and a half hours about to get to uh, medford and then we'll shoot down it's 11 10 now so, uh, yeah, I'm not telling you where we're going yet, but uh, let me get the truck here. All right, guys, so we are now uh, still on the 101. We just went through the, uh, the produce and firewood California station to see if you're bringing anything in. 
inspection station for produce and we don't have anything obviously uh, except for some lettuce and maybe some potatoes and I think I have a uh, 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 what else oh an artichoke we have so yeah but we just bought that right there in Brookings so that wasn't too bad uh, we have about uh, seven more miles we are definitely in California right now We've got about seven more miles before we get to the 197 and we're going to make a left and then we're going to go up through the canyon like we've been doing to get to Medford. Uh, pretty gnarly, that's uh, the way we went to take Max a couple weeks ago to the vet. Uh, it takes us actually from the campground five hours to get there. Uh, we are outside the campground and it's probably going to take us, right now it's 12.30, we left at 10. So we're just now getting into California. Oh, so it should take us about another three hours, two and a half hours to get us to Medford, and then we're going to get on the five, and the five will take us all the way down uh, to L Loma Linda. Is that, that's where we're going. So, uh, okay, guys, this is going to be one hell of a ride. It's going to take us about four days, and uh, we're going to stop and see some scenery. Uh, Dion was saying that, hey, why don't we stop in Kirby? Kirby is where my dad lived. Uh, what they're famous for is the uh, logging. So they have a logging museum I remember going to as a kid. I was like in my 20s. And uh, also uh, there is a treehouse type thing that somebody built that's an art thing and it's just really cool. So we want to see that too. Uh, so that'll probably be the next thing we do today. And then we're gonna drive all the way down and try to get on the five and try to find maybe a rest area or something to spend the night. And then wake up early 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 in the morning and get a little bit further tomorrow um, I don't want to be that far up here overnight because it's going to pour down rain uh, in California it's not going to rain uh, the storm is pretty far north of uh, Gold Beach but uh, it's still gonna hit Gold Beach and Brookings area but anything south of that Crescent City which we're heading to now that it shouldn't be a problem so wish I had the camera here but that all broke because it's been sitting out in the sun. I should have taken it down. It's my own fault. But uh, we'll figure out something when we stop. I'll try to figure out how to uh, re-put one up there so I can just have the camera running. All right, guys. We're on our way. Normally, we would have gone down probably the 101 and gone down to Shelter Cove area. Um, but with gas prices the way they are, Garberville's almost like seven dollars for uh, gas and that's where we would have to get gas there's really nothing on the one because uh, it follows the Eel River there's really nowhere to just pull off and spend the night there's no uh, rest areas or any of that stuff around in that area until you get past Mendocino and you go through Blue Lake and Clear Lake and all that and then you get all the way down into um, uh, the Central Valley of California and that's uh, where the five is. So we really, if we go all the way around like that, that's just really, I just a roundabout way to get to five. It's gonna take us like a day and a half to get to five. This is gonna take us four hours to get to five and then we're on five and all we have to do is stay on five all the way down. Uh, kind of go around a couple different areas like San Francisco, we don't wanna go through San Francisco at all or near it. Uh, Sacramento, we don't mind, we've been through it, it's okay. And then when you get down into the um, uh, the uh, Bakersfield area, ooh, that was a big tree. Uh, the Bakersfield area basically is um, ooh, look, Cliff River. That is the uh, Smith River. Anyways, when you get down into Bakersfield, there's a big gnarly mountain, and uh, it's called the Grapevine. And I remember. I remember our family going over it and water pumps would mess up and all sorts of stuff would happen and we always got stuck. So Dion was saying, do you really want to go over, to the, over the grapevine with the camper? And I was like, no, not really, but we've been some pretty gnarly roads so that I go up and forth in the first gear. But I don't think we're, we're going to end up going around that too. So the trip is total of about 9, 000, 9, 900 miles, not 9,000, but 900. And uh, let me turn the camera around. And uh, we figured a thousand miles for turnoffs and different things like that, scenic things that we want to stop. And it's going to cost us $522 to get down to LA. 
or that area. So, all right, guys. Turn this around real carefully, let you see. I'm gonna hang this up because the road goes up into some canyons and this road gets pretty treacherous, so. All right, we are on our way to Medford and we're gonna stop off in uh, Kirby, a little town that my dad lived in. So all right, guys, we are in Kirbyville Historic Museum and this I went to back a long time ago, back in the 80s. Um, I was going to Florida and I came up here to see my dad because he lived here in Kirby and he took us to this museum and the museum was kind of neat. Um, they had just three main buildings back then. They had this over here. This one has gotten bigger than I think it was. I don't remember, but there's one around the corner and then this one and then that one. So we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see if we can go inside. Check out the step we got. Look what we got. We got a mat too. Get up there, Max. Let's go. Everybody's got to go potty. All right, Dylan's going to go potty. I'm going to go potty in just a few minutes. And then we're going to run into uh, the museum and check it out for a few seconds. Uh, before we go in, I want to see. Yeah, see, they have all this stuff back here too, like they had. She's watering. I think it's the ladies' auxiliary that runs this. See, they have the barns back here. This is new. It's not really new. Guest room. Huh. What was this? Fredberry. Bob Wire collection. Yeah, they had a collection here. Oh, come on, let's go inside. Really quick. I hope it doesn't cost anything because I don't have any money on me. A credit card. Is it locked? Oh, it's open. After you. Yeah. They have, uh, they have. They have everything in here from the era of here. Hi. Hi. Oh, welcome to our museum. Yeah, you know, I've been here before. Yeah, good. In uh, 1978? Uh -huh. 79? Uh-huh. Can I bring a camera in? Uh, what are you going to take a picture of? All the stuff. No. Okay, well then we can't. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. So she gave me permission to go ahead and film this stuff. So I just want to show you this little building here. I think it was, it's right down the street or across the street. This is where they welded a bumper on for me when I came hauling a trailer back in the 70s. I know that is, because this was all empty at the time. Pretty pretty. Look at this stuff. You guys have got to come here. Kirbyville. Nobody supports them but you. So if you come in and donate a little bit of extra something something, they always will appreciate that. Super nice people. I think it's all volunteers that run it. River of Fortune, the Gold Rush. Pretty, pretty. Neat stuff. I love all this old stuff. You know I do. little bottles and stuff. This was probably dental stuff. I remember all the dolls. They had a doll collection. They also had a um, some, uh, what do you call those? Quilts. They had a bunch of quilts. Look at the old Bible here. how you make fabric this way and then you put it through it goes through it look at the old dresses and stuff oh my goodness rogue Indian Wars I'm not going to show you everything in here because it's an impossibility to do and we're on a time schedule oh check this out
that pretty? This old guy here, general store. Look at that, they got the grains. You can get whatever you want. Those are bins in there. Any kind of beans, peas, rice, macaronis, nuts over here. Old, old, old Kimball. It's a pump organ. You can use your foot pedals down there. Has bellows in it or not? That's all it is. This is all of different people. What's in here? I don't know who any of these people are. These are people that lived here. The old trunk, carpenter's trunk. I think that's why I made a box for my saws and everything because I probably saw this back in the day and thought whoa what a great job that was let's do that but then look at this look at all that all the old tools I'm telling you guys you got to come to uh, this is in between um, on the 199 And it is uh, right outside of Cave Junction, and the next town would have been Grants Pass. So Kirby is right in between the two. This is all awesome woodworking equipment that still works today, I hate to tell you. But you can make all sorts of stuff with that. This is their gun room. Ooh. Pretty, pretty. I keep saying that, but it's neat. I love I all old this stuff. You, never Look at this town. You were all my heart knew. So that's all I held on Lincoln to Mementos. Okay, so that's an old picture. Oh, neat. We met over coffee on 17th Street. And then here's some of the military garb. So this is all the mineral industry uh, from Oh, look at all the instruments. Okay, you already saw the piano. Look at the organ. This is another one for pedals. That's pretty. Look with your eyes, not with your fingers. I'll see your face down on 17th Street. You walk with her and not with me. Cool, huh? You are all my art new. Oh, I love all these baskets. I really had to spend days and months making this. Who look? So this is where the ladies were, and this was where they welcomed everybody when you first came in years ago, right? They were in this room here. But this, look at how they got it decked out. This is beautiful, oh my goodness. This is just like somebody's house, right? What's over here? 
look at that. How cute. Nice quaint place with a fireplace. And actually, uh, little sewing. Nice little room to stay warm. It does snow here. Doesn't it? You know what it is? That stuff. Cast iron. This was in here. This was here just like this when I came in. I think this is the very first museum I ever got to go to that I saw all this old stuff and I was like, oh my god, this is and this is why I keep doing it now. Look, look, the dishes are in the... You know what that is? That is an apple core. What's this? That is a ink set. Butter molds. Butter mold. Oh, butter molds. Okay, so you put your butters in there. You can make them larger or smaller, however you want to do it. I know what that is right there. That's a butter churn, and I've said done that once or twice. I had a jar one in here too. There it is. Look, there. I said there's a jar one. Yeah. No, right up there. Look, the countertop model. Yeah, the yeah, the paddle one. There's another one down there. This one here. The little sewing machine with the pedal, trouble. Board. Looks like a duck. Look up at the look up on top. coffee grinder on the wall. This was a porch. We got some irons out here. They probably sit out here and do their laundry and yeah, an iron. And look what they got here. That is an old washing machine, guys. All of these are. You know this rug right here? My mom had one like it. And we had these in throughout the whole house. These rugs are so comfortable when you walk on them. <laughs> so, this is just a little storage area probably off the side, and you got your bath here. Five cents for a bath. Got the hot water up there, that's how we had to do it back in the day. Or if you're out uh, boondocking. <laughs> Alright, you ready? All right, guys, we're gonna go outside and check out. I don't really wanna go upstairs, do you? No. Okay, we'll go outside and we'll check out the, uh... oh, there's a bathroom, there's a bathtub. We got a telephone out here. Hello, if you turn it. When you turned it, a generator would crank it and the power would go to whoever, to the operator, and the operator would say, can I have your number, please? This is pretty neat. Um, like I said, I hadn't seen this since I was a kid. And uh, we went, well, there's an upstairs, but I really don't want to go upstairs. Let's go outside and we'll go around to the other one. And then we got to get back on the road. This is like a half hour stop here. I had to do a double take. They built a cover over the old log cabin. Yeah, that's the original old log cabin. It was here for a long time. Like the Laws Museum down in Bishop, they also have their Bob Wire Museum. And so, so every different Bob Wire is correlated with this little sign here. And it tells you a three line, uh, an Australian four point wire, a Dodge and West Washburn. And yeah, we've got all different types of names of them. Let's see. And then here's the brands. If you remember when we went to the Laws Museum, they had all these hanging. That was pretty cool. More bob wire. Look at this one. That would be sharp. That would be awful. Okay, let's go to the next little room. Oh, they got the shop open up now. Cool. Dinner bell. Should we do it?
Sorry, I'm not supposed to do that. Probably not supposed to touch anything. Cashier, oh, cash register, look, somebody pushed that and shit left. Pretty neat, guys. More wood tools, it couldn't go in the thing. Those are so neat. Those are planers. Stagecoach, a, a buckboard wagon, covered wagon. <laughs> Look at all the uh, <clears throat> horseshoes. A little buggy it was actually in use at one time. That's pretty cool. Saddles. Those are old, old, old saddles. That's are for donkeys. For packing in. I think that's another packing in. I think all, all of them are. This is, yeah, it's a lady saddle, slide saddle. What's that over there? That's a pump. And that's, and that's a gas pump. And that's an air pump, probably, I would imagine. This was a quick little tour of uh, the uh, Kirby Museum. Uh, hey, what do you want to do next? Get in the car and drive all the way through Medford because it's almost 2.30 and we got to get going. Yep. All right, guys, so uh, this is the Kirby Museum in Kirbyville, they call it now. And this is uh, in between Cave Junction and Grants Pass in South Oregon. Uh, this is where my dad lived for, I don't know, five or six years, something like that. Uh, after he retired, they came up here and thought they were going to like it and probably didn't because it was wet and cold and rainy all the time and snow. Yeah. Aching bones when you're old doesn't really work that well. So, yeah, he, they ended up going back down to the desert, which makes more sense. So, anyways, we're gonna get back on the road. Guys, come and stop here. It's four dollars a person. Uh, the lady was very nice. I told her I wanted to videotape things, and she said I couldn't. And I explained myself, and she says, "Well, okay, well, yeah, that's good. What are you gonna do with us? It goes on the YouTube channel." She said, "Oh, okay." And then her son or husband or somebody said, "Yeah, we need all the advertising we can get. Go ahead, yeah, take all the right. videos. Help them out." Yeah. So they do, they need uh, somebody, everybody drives by here. This is a main corridor to go to the beach or to go to the coast in Oregon on the south side. Uh, and there's a million people that follow, that go through here every day. So why don't you all come just once and uh, drop off some money for them and check out this, the beautiful place here. It's really, really neat. All right, so we're gonna get back in the truck and head out on the road and uh, we'll see you wherever we're going next.